as part of the arts award, I needed to promote the Writer Centre competition for this year. To do so, I designed a poster, which I put up in the upper and lower locker rooms, as well as talking in some Year 7 tutor groups, creating a YouTube channel to post a video on about the competition, and having a press release. in the spring school newsletter along with one of my poems. I've chosen to talk about this part of the award because it was based around a competition which I thought was a great opportunity. So I'm going to show you the evidence I currently have in my portfolio. This was some criteria we were given at the start. It's a good idea to keep these things because it proves you've gone to these sessions and engaged in what has been presented to you because when you do the Arts Award you go to Dragon Hall and um, they tell you things about it. In very informative manner so that's very good um this is what i put in the background of that youtube video um there's my logo which i made for the competition and i also have some other evidence to do with being inspired by a writer and talking about their work and um, giving like writing about my thought process so when I made that YouTube video I wrote about the process of making it um, here are some screenshots for that. So that's the channel background I designed, which I found I developed my skills in because I, I redesigned it a few times trying to make it um, all fit into the banner so you could see it on various devices, like not just on larger screens and I put a channel description which guy which goes hi I'm Terry Griffith a young ambassador at Writer Centre Norwich and I'm encouraging you to enter this competition check out the video to find out about it and I've mentioned that the details are in its description so people can go there as a resource as well so based on what I've done, here are some tips for people who would like to complete the Arts Award in the future. So, as I've mentioned briefly before, you should keep all the evidence you're given in sessions, because you might as well, you could put it in your portfolio. If you're going to work with someone at your school to promote the competition, because they're also doing the Arts Award and that's convenient, then discuss your methods for doing so. This may influence the other person into doing one or more of those things, as well as you doing it, and they could really enjoy that. Share the competition on social media and tell your followers to look out for your posters at school. And I'm also going to say that they'll be likely to find it pretty cool that another student is doing this rather than a teacher. Because it's often, you know, teachers who are putting competitions in morning notices and things like that. So, uh, they'll be interested in a student doing it.
and um, again, then they can find out about being the ambassador, which they might be interested in. Uh, make sure the text on your poster um, is easy to read because I included, as you can see, some yellow for the title, which makes it look sli uh, slightly unprofessional on white paper. But um, otherwise, I think that worked pretty well because I uh, of uh, putting things into bullet points rather than just writing like chunks of text that isn't specifically this is how you enter this is what uh, the prize is um, you know this is what you can enter so so that's another tip put things into clear bullet points that was my skills share and I hope I conveyed this topic very well. Peace out.